Here's a little healing exercise for you, a little emotional healing. I would like you to take a moment to really feel a part of yourself. It could be a part of your personality. It could be a part of your body. It could be a memory of your past. But something that you really judge, maybe even hate. Okay, so I want you to think of a thing like that. Don't think too hard. Just pick one. doesn't have to be huge. It can be totally superficial. And I want you just to start off by feeling the feelings that come up. And I mean the physical feelings. Oh, did my voice just crack a little? The physical feelings that go along with the emotional feelings. But pay attention to the physical as well. If you've seen my videos, you know that I, I always like to link the physical with the emotional to create transformation. So I want you to feel the feeling in your body, how it feels, that thing that you judge or even hate about yourself. Step two. Choose it. Now, I know you might tell me, but I don't want it. I don't want to choose it. I don't want to make it stay. I want to get rid of it. Yeah, I, I know. I know. I know. Follow me or don't. But next step is choose it. So it's like, oh, I got a big, huge mole right on the end of my nose. And everybody laughs at me when I walk down the street. And I hate it. And I can't afford to get it taken off and I walk around in shame and I can feel it in my body I choose that I choose the mole and so I want you just to feel that energy what does that feel like like to me when I just said that even though I don't even have the damn mole it felt very grounding. I could feel energy going down my legs right when I said that. You will have other feelings probably. But there's something grounding about choosing what is. Okay? And then, love it. So choose it, love it. Be like, I love the mole at the end of my nose that everybody laughs at, that everybody makes fun of me for. I love it. It's amazing. Now, when you do that, you're going to feel all the contrary things come up. No, I hate it. No, don't say that. No, you'll never get rid of it if you do that. All those things will come up. That's natural. Just let that happen. And then, just let it go. I choose it. I love it. I let it go. That doesn't mean I, I push the mole away. I just let go of the whole thing. I let go of the whole drama. I choose it. I love it. I let it go. When it comes back again, I choose it. I love it. I let it go. Here's the thing with manifestation, negative manifestation. Negative manifestation, like the mole, is held in place by your resistance and your hatred and your res refusal to learn the lesson. In this case of 
unconditional self-love. You are not the damn mole at the end of your nose. You are not all these other things. You are the spirit of the consciousness listening to my words right now. That has nothing to do with body shape or moles or past histories that are shameful or anything. There is a consciousness listening right now, and that consciousness is 100% pure, untainted. It really is. Check it. What it is conscious of might be all kinds of tainted shit, for sure. Most likely, yeah. <laughs> okay, but the actual consciousness itself is pure, it's clean, it's untainted. And that's who you really are. So, as you choose these things, and as you love these things, you actually release the bonds, the magnetic attractors or whatever that keep those things there. Because basically, you've learned whatever lesson those, the lessons those things have to give you. And so in the case of the mole, it might fade. It might go away. It might just fall off one day. Who knows? You might win the lottery and, and get enough money to go pay for the surgery. You might get a job that has, uh, you know, plastic surgery is one of the perks and mole removal is at the top of the list. Who knows? Or you might just not give a shit about the mole anymore. And that will be the shift. I'm not saying the mole is going to always magically drop off. What I'm saying is that something will happen where either you get rid of it one way or another, or you don't even think about it anymore, and you realize people weren't really laughing at you as much as you thought, and the, the whole reality becomes different. Maybe your mole becomes this celebrated feature about you that, you know... Maybe it becomes like part of your branding, you know, it could happen. Weird. I mean, you know, there was a guy, Jimmy Durante, look him up. You know, he had a huge nose. It was something that could have made him really insecure his whole life. Maybe he was, but it was like a trademark thing. Um, your nose mole could be the same thing. <laughs> Probably not. But, you know, the point is, any issue in your life, anything, I get too mad, I have anger issues, choose it, love it, and then let go. Your anger issues are a part of you that wants to be heard. When you choose it, it's heard. It loses a little of its edge. Your anger issues are a part of you that wants to be loved. When you love it, it loses a lot of its steam, steam behind the anger, and you let it go. Okay, and guess what? You will be angry again someday. But to the degree that you choose it and you love it and you let it go, it just won't have the power because the power comes from the resistance. Okay, the power of negativity comes from the resistance. So once you choose it, love it, and let it go, there's no resistance powering it anymore. It won't disappear immediately in most cases, but it will diminish in intensity. And like that mole, it might just shrivel 
and fall off in your sleep and a month later you live in a new reality as if that mole never existed as if that anger never existed and you're fine because in the end it's not about the mole or the anger it's about coming into a different sense of yourself a self that is based on who you really are which is the consciousness and not the body the eternal and not the temporary and we are moving into that awareness as a species and so a lot of our stuff is being kicked up to the surface to be cleared and it is being cleared and this is a way to help you clear even more of it so if you put it to use send me a comment let me know how it went thanks so much for watching have a great day bye